Scott, your host of Get Loud About Your Life. Today I want to talk to you about the winter blues. We are in those months right now where it's cold and it gets dark and all we want to do is go home, curl, under, curl up under the blankets and hibernate. Well, this hibernation for some people is a little bit more serious. It's a form of depression and we call it seasonal affective disorder, otherwise known as SAD. Canadians will experience symptoms of SAD through the months of October to April. And some of those signs that they'll start to feel are fatigue, lethargy, uh, PMS for women when it gets extra strong and intense. We will also start to experience mood disorder or severe mood shift. In addition, you might experience some appetite loss or overeating, sometimes comfort food eating so you see the weight gain. But we're talking about appetite in an extreme cycle. The reason we start to experience this seasonal affective disorder is mainly because in our country, we experience less light in those months. We start to see the sunlight going down quicker and we're spending more time in the darkness. What this does to our bodies, our bodies are on a circadian rhythm, which is our 24 hour internal clock. So when our days start to get darker sooner, our bodies start to produce melatonin. That melatonin is the hormone that encourages us to sleep, producing more of that sleep time in the darkness. What also begins to happen is that happy drug that our body naturally creates, the serotonin, starts to overreact and then it underproduces in our body, which means we're getting less of the happy hormone and more of the sleep hormone. Now, how does yoga help you with this? Well, there's three things. With the melatonin and the serotonin that is, that is developed in our brains here through the pituitary gland, we are stimulating our hormones through the way we move, through the way we breathe, through the way we act. We're, we're circulating blood flow in our body. So when we're down and out, all these hormones are taking effect, which are causing us to hibernate more or to feel depressed. What also the yoga starts to target is something called the energy centers. The hormones are produced in the brain. So this is in our energy center called the crown chakra. So the exercises that I'm gonna teach you today will target the crown, the crown chakra and work those hormones. In addition to that, the heart chakra, how we feel about ourselves. When we're down and out and feeling depressed and lethargic, it's very difficult to just wanna get up and be active and be positive. So some of the mantras I will show you today and the postures that I'm gonna show you today are very important to work these two chakras together and also combine the brain with body movement. So one of the other treatments that I want to share with you today is something called photo light therapy. So I'm one of those people that when it's dark outside, I start to hibernate myself and I start to feel the fatigue and the tiredness and the sleepingness. You know, just wanting to hide and be a hermit crab through the winter. One thing I want to point out to you is that understanding when fatigue is not just fatigue and when it's serious. As I said, seasonal affective disorder is diagnosed as depression. So you do want to recognize when you need to go see your doctor in addition to some of these holistic therapy treatments that I'm going to show you. That being said, light treatment is a fantastic way of introducing it to your day. I literally use this thing about an hour a day and all you basically do is get one online, place it in, in front of you and it used, needs to be about six inches away and about, about 10 inches higher, 20 inches higher than you. This light therapy is remitting about 10,000 lux and that's, that's how they measure the speed of the light here. And by simply having this in front of you, it tricks your brain into thinking that you have more sunlight in your body. And it does make a world of a difference on mood. I use it and I absolutely love it. I encourage you that if you do feel that you suffer from SAD is to add a light to your yoga practice or add a light to your desk space and that will start to decrease some of that fatigue that you're feeling as soon as it starts to get dark outside. So before we start to move, I want to get you centered. 
All right, so we have to remember that depression is something that is triggered in the brain and then also also triggered by our situations that we're going through through the day. So when you're suffering from sad, you sort of have a whole bunch of things working against you, especially if you're having a difficult time in your life already. So as we go into working some postures for the brain, I want to teach you a breathing technique that's going to help to encourage oxygen in your body. And by encouraging the oxygen intake, you're actually detoxing the blood and you're giving more nutrient and, and nourishment to the blood, which is moving to the organs, to the nervous system, to the brain, and which will help stimulate balancing your hormones. So as you get centered, the first exercise is alternate nostril breathing. This is a great breathing technique in order to balance the left and the right brain hemisphere and just creating a, a, a sense of balanced breathing and mindful breathing. So all you're going to do is take your thumb and your ring finger and you're just going to place it in front of you and you're going to take your thumb and you're just going to place it over the nostril and you're going to take a nice deep breath in from this side as much as you can and you're going to hold it with that finger and you're going to breathe out through the opposite nostril. And you breathe out for as long as you can. You breathe in from this nostril, hold it, and then breathe out. Let's just take a couple of rounds of this. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. One more time. Breathe in, hold, and breathe out. You're going to start to feel a sense of calmness coming into you where you have more control of your thoughts. When we talk about depression, a lot of this is mindset, so they say, along with hormonal, okay? When we want to deal with the mindset of depression, by doing your breathing and getting yourself centered, you're already taking control of the thinking that's going on in your mind. And when you start to feel those depressive thoughts, I'm tired, I'm not happy, I want to go to bed, I don't feel like doing this, I don't feel like doing that, your brain starts to trigger more negative emotion and your body starts to naturally get more tired because of the self-talk. So from here, mantras are really important. And it's very difficult to just say, change the way that you think by changing the way that you speak. You literally have to sit down, focus on your breath, and set an intention to be mindful to the, to the way that you're feeling, especially when you're dealing with sad or any other kind of depression. So starting with a simple mantra, I am wide awake, I am wide awake. So as you work your nostril breathing, your alternate nostril, maybe repeating to yourself subconsciously and quietly, I am wide awake, or I feel good. I am happy. So this way, as we're working the left and the right brain, we're also including positive self-talk. And every negative emotion that you feel, you replace it immediately by saying something positive to yourself. All right? I'm going to also show you a couple of postures. So we targeted the brain and how to work the brain through breathing and mantras. We've also incorporated light therapy into our practice. If you don't have a light, you can also set up a couple of candles. Just having light sometimes to look at will trigger the brain and reduce some of those symptoms of SAD. So let's get into teaching you some postures. So I'm gonna show you a handful of poses today that'll help you beat sad or help you deal with it at least. Getting up and moving is essential in order to get the blood flow going and the oxygen going. Keeping that in mind, I also know how difficult it is to force yourself up, get on a mat and do some exercises. But I promise you these techniques are really simple and just doing them once, maybe twice a day, you're gonna feel a lot different in your energy, especially since we're targeting the heart chakra 
and we're targeting the crown chakra. With that, we're also targeting serotonin. So we're taking charge of our body to make sure that we're increasing the amount of the happy hormone going through our body when we do these exercises. The first one I'm gonna show you is a seated twist. The reason why seated twists are important is because they target the spine. Okay, when we target the spine in a twisting movement, we're doing two really great things. We're targeting the left side and the right side of our brain by switching from one perspective to another perspective. And physically what we're doing to our body is by twisting the spine, we're actually twisting the muscles and the nerves running through their body. So in the process of a twist, we're actually shutting down the blood flow that's going into the, into the organs. And when we untwist, it's actually considered a detox flush where there's a rush of blood and oxygen going to the to the organs and the nerve cells and stimulating a, a flush and a detox and encouraging replenishment. So starting with our seated twist, all we're gonna do is just tuck your foot in, bring your opposite leg in. Now sitting up nice and tall, remember we wanna be mindful of our spine. Let's incorporate that mantra. So picking a mantra that I gave you or one that works for you and then just thinking about that deep breathing. Without even using your hands, you can just think about the oxygen coming up through the left and out through the right, and just mindfully engaging with the breath. We're just gonna tuck our elbow onto our knee, sit up tall, and create that twist. Okay, and just breathing deep. And all I'm doing here is visualizing that alternate nostril breath where I can almost feel it working in my body the same way and repeating a positive affirmation to myself, I am happy. And just a couple of breaths here until your body feels good. And we're gonna release, other side. And here we can switch that mantra. Sit up tall, we wanna keep our spine in line, so we're making sure that we're utilizing all our vertebrae properly, create that twist, changing our perspective. Now working more to the left side of our brain and changing my affirmation. I feel great. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is a simple cat-cow. So by moving our vertebrae here, we're activating our, our heart chakra when we're working our cow position, and then we're sending blood flow when we're working our, cow our cat position here. So simply taking your hands and knees hip distance apart, hands underneath your shoulders. Well, all we're gonna do is take a breath in, and I want you to open up your heart center here. Let your belly sink to the mat, look up. Create an extension here from the top of your head. Couple of deep breaths, and then pull your belly in tight to your spine. Drop your chin to your chest and round out. Waking up every single one of our vertebrae, encouraging oxygen flow and blood flow. Okay. Energetically stimulating our body. And again, add your mantra. Take a mantra on the inhale and a mantra on the exhale, giving yourself that positive self-talk. And this works great because I've got my light right in front of me. So if I do this for 15 minutes, I'm actually getting 15 minutes of my light therapy. The next position I'm going to show you is Sphinx or Cobra. So depending on your back issues, always be, always be mindful to what your body is experiencing. If anything doesn't feel good, then back off or find a way to modify it. So our first position here is Sphinx. So if anybody has any sort of back issues, Sphinx is probably the easiest place to go. And all we do is place our, our elbows underneath our shoulders and we start to create an extension up through the chest targeting again the heart chakra and our crown chakra simultaneously here. Okay, and again, taking nice deep breaths in and out. 
I want to target that alternate nostril breathing from a visual point of view. As you close your eyes and you work on your mantra, just think about the breath coming in through the right, exiting out through the left nostril, entering in through the left nostril and out through the right. And just feeling that sense of alternate breathing. All right, for those of you that want to take this a little bit deeper, we're gonna move it into Cobra. And just simply placing your hands in front, hips down, and sink your shoulders away from your ears, looking up, creating a really deep stretch here through the heart chakra. Okay, you might wanna come down a little bit, sink those hips down. What you wanna avoid is this. We don't wanna see those shoulders up here. We wanna see those shoulders drop down, shoulder blades fall and breathe. The next pose here is called fish pose. Again, we're stimulating heart chakra and crown chakra. So I'm gonna show you how to do this on a modified basis and then take you into full fish. Be mindful of how your body is feeling when you do this. Okay, so with a fish pose, we're just simply gonna lie down onto our back. All right, find your breath, get centered. And then we're just gonna simply tuck our hands underneath our back so that we're sitting on the tops of our hands and our elbows are tucked under nicely. So for beginners, what you might wanna do is just bring yourself up to sitting such as this. And then you're gonna round your back, just open the chest and let your head go. All right, this might be it for you. Otherwise, if you're comfortable enough here, you can start to take your head back and just placing your head down on the mat and breathe. This is considered an inverted pose, which also helps to stimulate blood flow and encourage, an ox encourage oxygen into your body. I hope you enjoyed this episode on seasonal affective disorder. If you feel that you are suffering from fatigue, too much sleep, too much tiredness, too much sadness, it might be a time for you to go see your doctor. Otherwise, if you feel that you just need a little kick to get your day going, make sure that you try these three techniques that I showed you today. Your light therapy or candle therapy, your mantras, your breathing, and your yoga postures. And hopefully that will be enough to get you through these long winter months and get you right into spring where you'll be bouncing and happy and getting loud about your life.